Good afternoon. I'm pleased that all of you have joined us as the Partial Birth Abortion Ban Act of 2003 becomes the law of the land. For years, a terrible form of violence has been directed against children who are inches from birth, while the law looked the other way. Today, at last, the American people and our government have confronted the violence and come to the defense of the innocent child. Many of you have worked long and hard to see this bill come to fruition, and we thank you for your efforts. Thank you, Mr. President. I see some members of my cabinet have come. I appreciate the good work of the Attorney General, John Ashcroft. Services, Tommy Thompson. There are a lot of members of the Senate and House here today. I want to thank you all for passing this important legislation. Glad you're here. Primary Senate sponsors with the Senator Rick Santorum. as well in the Senate. Thank you. Steve Schubach is the primary House sponsor, and Steve is with us. Thanks for coming, Steve. I'm thankful that our speaker is with us today, Mr. Speaker. Appreciate you. Thank you. Tom DeLay as well. Thank you. For <laughs> time. I mentioned three other members of the House. Henry Hyde is with us today, Mr. Chairman. We appreciate the time. And Jim Overstar is with us. Jim, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. Lawrence Tupac from Michigan is with us as well. Thanks for coming. Appreciate his eminence, Cardinal Egan, is with us today. Thank you very much. In passing this legislation, members of the House and Senate made a study decision based upon compelling evidence. The best case against partial birth abortion is a simple description of what happens and to whom it happens. It involves the partial delivery of a live boy or girl and a sudden violent end of that life. Our nation owes its children a different and better welcome. Protecting innocent new life from this practice reflects the compassion and humanity of America. In the course of the congressional debate, the facts became clear. 
Each year, thousands of partial birth abortions are committed. As Dr. C. Everett Koop, the pediatrician and former Surgeon General, has pointed out, the majority of partial birth abortions are not required by medical emergency. As Congress has found, the practice is widely regarded within the medical profession as unnecessary, not only cruel to the child, but harmful to the mother, and a violation of medical ethics. about partial birth abortion are troubling and tragic, and no lawyer's brief can make them seem otherwise. By acting, by acting to prevent this practice, the elected branches of our government have affirmed a basic standard of humanity, the duty of the strong to protect the weak. The wide agreement amongst men and women on this issue, regardless of political party, shows that bitterness in political debate can be overcome by compassion and the power of conscience. And the executive branch will vigorously defend this law against any who would try to overturn it in the courts. Thank you. 